agents of the cross who want to keep this problem going because their broth is cooked at the cost of innocent people. You think the Pakistani army would like peace with India? Don't go by their rhetorics. <coughs> because the real government in Pakistan is the army. The army decides whether you can move or you can't move. Unless the Americans really put pressure on that army and say, you behave. There is no way peace will come. I want peace in my lifetime. I don't want peace of graveyard. I want peace which is glorious, where my people are happy, where Hindus who have gone back are away from different places can come home and feel free to walk as they would walk at 2 o'clock in the morning with all the gold that they would wear on the wedding and nobody would ask them, who the hell are you? Today, you don't see people walking in the middle of the night, not knowing who is going to be where and what is he going to do. <coughs> Our faith lies in what Manmohan Singh today does. Because peace is very essential. For any development of our nation, please remember, peace is important. Don't forget China is the China is creeping into lay. It comes writes on the stones, disappears again. They took oxygen overnight. We continue to talk to them. So beware. You are surrounded. And unless we play our game properly and we make our country prosperous ourselves and strong ourselves don't depend on others. It is your strength that will matter. It is your courage that will matter. It is you that will matter for tomorrow's India. You may have failed, but we look to you. How do you will take it? For Pakistan, it is as essential as it is for India to have friendship. Because they also have, at least we have an economy. They have no economy at all. They have been in Basra. Maximum of their money either comes from America as gifts or from the people who work in the Arab countries and send money home. Thank God India stands on its own legs. I remember when earthquake came in Kashmir some years ago, and many of you must remember, India did not ask for a pie from anywhere in the world and said, we will manage our affair. Wherein the other nation, the whole world had to come, and people are still living in tents in some of those areas which are close to my border. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not easy to have peace. Some of the decisions you will have to take will be painful, but they will have to be taken. Because if you don't take them now, it will be too late then. And a Prime Minister has said that I will walk a mile more if terrorism is finished. Terrorism will not go overnight. Al-Qaeda will not disappear overnight. Taliban will not disappear overnight. Hatred of America and Pakistani people will not disappear even if they know they are surviving on American money. If America shuts that bottle of money, they will not know what's <coughs> happening. Peace But how do we go forward? 
What do we do? Dog stocking. We have a political pocket. That says first end terrorism, then we will go. And they forget that terrorism is on when we call Musharraf. And we said, give us those 20 people's list that we had sent you. Hand those 20 people to us, in which that dawn was number one. I forgot the man's name. Thank God, I don't remember the dawns. And uh, where is the place today? They call Musharraf here. <coughs> Look into Agra to see that beautiful Taj Mahal. I wish Shah Jahan would have risen also and greeted him. <laughs> and Montaz Mahal would have been standing with a flower. But in that, middle of the night we had to go there. But we did call him. They forget that. We politicians must understand that sometimes we have a thing of the nation. Not my political power. that I must sit on that chair, to hell with that damn chair. Sometimes the chair is not important, the nation is more important than the chair. We politicians don't realize like this. We think Kushibar, or Kitnan Chul, also, we have called it out. We have called it out. Thank you. 